in order to learn at any age, the most critical thing is that you bring as much focus and active engagement to the learning, the, the encoding of the information, bringing in the information. And then that you get into a state of deep rest as quickly as possible. Typically, that would be the night after you learn, uh, after you have this trigger. But there are some beautiful studies published in Cell Reports last year and the year before showing that people who take a 20-minute nap within the four hours after these uh, triggering learning or people that do a non-sleep deep rest type protocol, even just sitting there quietly and not doing anything, they learn much faster. In other words, the brain rewires much faster. Isn't that interesting? It's very interesting. And what's happening is very interesting. We've long known that during sleep, there's a replay of the neurons in the same sequence that they were played during the activity in the uh, earlier in that day, sometimes even backwards for some reason that it's like the songs played backwards at night, who knows why? I don't think we should focus too much on that right now. But that replay is the consolidation of the information you learn. This is why you try something physically, try it physically, you can't do it, you can't do it, and then you come back a week later and voila, you can do it. The, you had the opportunity to change the neural circuits so that now you can do it. The, these non-sleep deep rest or these sh shallow naps of 20 to 30 minutes also create a replay or a firing of the neurons. But there's an additional tool. So, so what, sorry, I should say there's a tool which is get as focused as you can, but then relax as deeply as you For can. For how long? How, like if you're going to be focused on something, is there a certain amount of bandwidth we have where it's productive and then it becomes unproductive? Yeah, and it varies for people. And some people use pharmacology to override what I'm about to say. But generally, after about 90 minutes, what we're, we exist on these so-called 90-minute ultradian cycles. Everything in sleep is a 90-minute cycle. Everything in waking is a 90-minute cycle. If you sit down to work, you're like, all right, I'm finally doing it. I'm going to turn my phone off. I'm going to write this book. You just wrote a book. So um, quite nice book, by the way. I, I enjoyed reading. I'm learning a lot from it. So, you know, you... you you read this information, you bring in the information, and then I would, for, but after about, or you're working on the book and you're, you're like focusing and you're, of course, you know, people think that the expectation is that you're gonna be like a beam of focus for 90 minutes. That's not the case. You can flicker in and out. You're gonna get distracted. You bring yourself back. I mean, focus is an active process of bringing that spotlight of attention back. Mm, it's always Much like, easier without the phone. Much yeah. easier without the phone, much easier using a program called Freedom Free program online where you can just turn off the internet mm -hmm. um it's i'll tell you it's very painful as you know and yet there's something deeply satisfying about completing one of these 90 minute bouts you really feel good in your brain and body because we were actually designed to do this mm -hmm. um I it definitely design, feels like a grind at some stage oh yeah and that friction and that uh, anxiety sometimes that we feel is adrenaline it's, it's supposed to be stressful to learn. It's this idea that we just sit back and learn or that, you know, movies have really destroyed the notion of learning, the idea that you're going to like pick up the sword and suddenly have the skills. You know, forget it. It's like, this it just doesn't work that way. I mean, it's friction, 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 friction. And some days are good and some days are worse. If you slept better, generally it's better. People are always trying to optimize how much caffeine, background noise, yes noise, yes music, no music. You have to tweak things according to your circumstances. But you... Nine, after about 90 minutes, you should really take a break and let your mind go idle somewhat. Ideally, you would take a 20-minute nap or a 30-minute nap or do a non-sleep deep rest protocol within the first hour to four hours after that. But a lot of us have a lot of demands. You go straight from a 90-minute bout to commuting. Sleep that you get that night is going to be the most powerful tool for wiring the nervous system right that's that's when it really happens and so we can talk about tools to to get into deep sleep and stay asleep uh, more if you like but there's another thing that you can do which is that there's a beautiful literature on what's called gap learning effects where let's say uh, and this has been looked at for physical skill learning for music learning math etc where if every couple of minutes just randomly during your intense learning or focus you pause and you just take 10 seconds and do nothing just let your brain idle, eyes open or eyes closed, doesn't matter. What happens is your rates of learning actually increase. And the reason is, and now they've done neuroimaging on this, really excellent studies published in great journals show that during those little gaps that you're taking, there's a replay of the neurons very fast at something like 10 or 20x the speed that the, normally they would be rehearsing it. So you're getting more repetitions during the, by, by stopping every once in a while. Now you actually have to do the work um, and how many of these to insert, and it should be random. So there are some free apps out there where you can set like a random buzzer, or just every once in a while while you're writing or trying to do something, you just pause and do nothing, 
Mm. Where was that tool then, when I was going through school? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I think that the, the, the science on this dates back about 20 years, but it's only now that there's an, a, enough of what I call a kind of center of mass around the, these studies that really point to the fact that gap learning effects are really strong. Uh, they're very beneficial. You learn faster.